Okay, it's Al Langelo from A Plus Racing. So we're going back to our pro-built motor here, and what's it take to put you up on the front line? So we're almost done, so let's go ahead and finish this video off, finish this engine off, get it in the car, and this car's going to Laguna Seca. All right, so let's put the thermostat on. So um, right here is where the thermostat's gonna go on, and so I'm gonna take these two bolts off. Okay. And we have a brand new thermostat right here. So this is an NB thermostat. So you look a little different than the other thermostats that it has an extra little bleed valve thermostat built right into it. It's gonna sit inside of this groove right here. You wanna make sure you don't put it in upside down. And I like to put the bleeder up towards the top. Now you see it's kind of falling down here. I've got a gasket that might help us with that. So here's a brand new gasket. And um, I'll go ahead and get it ready to put on. So it has a little sticker. Like that. Okay. And a lot of times I use the sticker to help hold my thermostat in place. Huh? Tricky, huh? Yeah, you guys are getting all the tips because you subscribed. That's why. All right. Thermostat housing. Okay. So I uh, got it nice and cleaned up. Absolutely no gasket material left up from the other gasket. If you think this might be warped, it's not a bad idea to put this on a flat piece of sandpaper on a table and then sand it and make sure that it's, that it's flat. Because if they warp, they leak. All right. Got a couple of 12s here. What I probably didn't show you while we were off camera was that we went ahead and put the hose kit on and the kit I buy from Mazda comes with all brand new, uh, the little coolant hoses. And so I picked that up from Mazda and then I always try to use brand new clamps. I hate having a car fail because of a 50 cent clamp. Um, we went ahead and put the alternator on with the new, uh, a new alternator belt. I do have the other harmonic balancer bolts here in case hardened, so I need to put those on. Okay, so there's thermostat housing. Let's go around this way. So we're gonna put the exhaust manifold on, and I've already got a brand new gasket here. So uh, it sits like that. <clears throat> and I have my NB. This is a non-California exhaust manifold because it doesn't have a catalytic converter right here so that's a good thing so we always switch those in uh out here because the california one with a cat converter in there slows us down and uh sometimes they start coming apart and when the catalytic converter comes apart it clogs up the exhaust I've seen that happen lots of times on people's race cars who, who still run a catalytic converter. One trick you can do is you can like, just for off-road purposes only, <laughs> you can bang out all the ceramic material out of the inside of the cat and then, uh, <clears throat> um, then you'll have a free-flowing cat. All right, so I got that one. There's a hidden bolt down in here these are 14. I thought we had a 14. You do. It was the one you took off that other speed. Oh, maybe it's on here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to put the nut on here. Find that stud. There we go. Okay, yes, I skipped one. This one. So I'm going to show you why, because on this one, it takes the heater tube. So I have the heater tube here. This is it. And I put a new O-ring on here and I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the O-ring. And then this, you got to make sure you don't screw this up. This, it goes in here. Okay, so it goes inside of here and it just pushes in and then this goes on the outside of that stud. So if this is in the car and you're putting the exhaust manifold in, make sure you don't get it caught underneath the exhaust manifold. 
you'll have a really big exhaust manifold leak. All right, so that goes on there like that. All right, so now I'm just gonna bring these home. And it's a pretty good size stud on here. I'm guessing you, you wanted to use a torque wrench, which is not a bad idea to use a torque wrench on all this stuff. I've been doing it so long, I, I know how tight it needs to be without it falling off. But I would say probably 25 to 30 pounds on these, and you'd be safe. to use a new gasket on these um if i don't have a new gasket and i'm at the racetrack i mean yeah i'll fly without a new gasket but i usually stock these gaskets i usually have them okay all right that looks good okay now that I got that, <clears throat> we can go ahead and put on this uh, EGR tube. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the threads here. So it basically goes back here to the back port of the EGR valve and to the back of this head. And I got a, I got a new gasket here. So put the new gasket on. Sits on like that. That thread's on there. It's a lot easier to do it right here, right now, than trying to put it in when the engine's already in the car. Um, tough to get to all of it when it's in the car. Okay, so I'm going to do 10 millimeter. I'm going to tighten this up here. Good. We'll come back and tighten that. It takes a 26 millimeter wrench. I don't have one readily available right here to me. Okay, so this is going to go to the uh, uh, the coil pack. The blue one is the driver's side. I always get those mixed up, but I'm telling you right now, blue goes to the driver's side. I finally memorized side. it, and that way, um, if you get them backwards, it doesn't run right. And then this one here is our sensor for the uh, engine coolant temp sensor. So it goes like that. All right, valve cover. So we've got our valve cover cleaned up. I'm gonna, it has the cam sensor in it. I'm gonna take the cam sensor out just because sometimes it nicks the end of the camshaft positioning sensor. So I don't pull the valve cover off without taking the sensor off. <clears throat> All right, we got a new gasket and it's all cleaned up. Thanks to my buddy Randall. And I'm gonna set this on there like that. Okay. And up here on the front, I wanna make sure that I got it tucked in there right. I don't, you know, I don't want it like this. It's gotta sit down, sit down in there. Otherwise we crush this, uh, we crush that, that plastic housing. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bolts on. So we put these tens in here. Okay, everybody got a bolt? I I like to start in the middle and just barely snug it down. Um, kind of help keep it from binding up. Not that I've ever seen one bind, bind up, but I don't know. I just I just feel safer doing it that way. So, and I've always done it that way. And I just go with what, what feels safe and feels right. Like that. 
And then eventually I'm just gonna torque these with this speed handle and I'll show you how I do that. Cause I just don't go crazy with this thing. And I, I mean, the kids here in my class, if you're in my class and you're watching this cause you're putting the engine together, don't, don't go crazy on them because you guys break them off all the time and always having to try to get them out of the, out of the head. Okay, so it's just, that's it. It's just my fingertips tightening it down. I'm sure there's a torque specs. I would imagine it's probably somewhere around eight to 10 foot pounds. And I just do it like that. Okay, now we got the cam sensor and I always use a Mazda cam sensor. I don't use aftermarket ones. I've had too many problems at the racetrack with cheaper ones from some auto parts store. I just get the ones from Mazda and that's the ones I use. Okay. And we'll plug in our PCV valve. Looks like this one's not gonna fit. So there we go. Okay. Alright. So uh, outside of the exhaust cover, we'll tighten this up with a 26. I think that this engine's ready to go in and uh, we'll see what kind of power it makes. All right, well, this is gonna conclude your pro-built motor. If you followed every step, should be up there on the front row with the rest of us, all right? You guys have a great day. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching the series. And give me any comments. If you have a question or something that you wanna know about, don't hesitate to leave a comment and I answer all the comments. Sometimes I just answer it with a video. Have a great day. See you at the track.